guys, today we got the 1.16 update for Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and within this update, we get a free weapon, there's a brand new bundle, as well as Bare Bones is now live. So hopefully you guys enjoy, if you guys are excited, make sure to drop a like, and let's jump right into it. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Retro Right Away. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So the 1.16 update just went live on PlayStation 4 and it was like around 11.8 gigabytes, which is pretty crazy for an update. That's a really large update uh, when it comes to Black Ops 4. And I have to say, man, I just have so many mixed emotions when it comes to this update. There were so many good things, but then there were also terrible things within this update. So I'm gonna go over basically everything for you guys right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, of course. If you guys do remember to drop a like drop an early like for your boy let's just see how fast we can get this to 2,000 likes also if you guys are brand new definitely click that subscribe button and with all that being said let's jump right into it so this is one of the really really good things that they did with today's update so when you first hop on black ops 4 you'll get a message right when you go into the black market that says free weapon crate and it says claim this free weapon crate for a guaranteed mark 2 weapon from reserves and two other items so you get a free weapon crate right when you hop on black ops 4 this is something that they should be doing every single time there's a new update man like give us a free mark 2 give us a free weapon this is awesome so you get a free mark 2 weapon which there's plenty of mark 2 weapons in the game right now there's one for the swat there's one for the cat 45 and there's also three new mark 2 variants that dropped within today's update so i'll show you guys the footage right now but when i opened this free uh weapon crate right here you guys will see it. i got the brand new rampart 17 mark 2 variant but then i also got the kashka mark 2 which is another new mark two variant and then i got the splatter camo and then i went ahead and opened up one more reserve case because i've been playing a lot of you know black ops 4 and just you know collecting reserve cases and supply drops as i play and i got the cordite mark 2 so in total i got three new mark 2 variants i got the rampart the cordite and the kashka which is really awesome so can't wait to actually showcase to you guys all these new mark 2 weapons and i basically got them for free because i got the free weapon crate when i hopped on black ops 4 and then i opened up one reserve case that i also got for free just by playing the game and then also if i try to open up any more reserve supply drops it says all reserves acquired congratulations you have acquired all available reserve items blackjack will add more in stock uh, in the next operation so i have to wait until the next operation uh for more reserve you know items and whatnot i basically have everything in the game from all of these supply drops now another new thing that they added within today's update and this is kind of like what i was talking about in the beginning of the video it's kind of terrible man but there is a brand new triple play bundle in the black market as you guys can see right down here but if you check out the price it costs 2800 cod points this is definitely the most expensive bundle that we've seen so far in black ops 4 and this is just an outrageous price like in the bundle you get the home wrecker melee weapon which is the demo hammer melee weapon that's been leaked for a little bit you get an additional weapon crate which guarantees a new mark 2 so you get a free mark 2 or free weapon crate when you hop on and then you can also get an additional weapon crate by purchasing this bundle which guarantees another mark 2 weapon and then you also get 10 cases and 10 tiers so it's just it's just really an expensive bundle i kind of wish like things were separate like where's the sniper like the new vendetta sniper the mini 14 sniper rifle that has also been leaked and i've been talking about for a while it's not even in the game like they did not release the sniper rifle and the sniper rifle should have been included within this bundle like also guys at the end of this video i just wanted to showcase the brand new bare bones playlist which is the no specialist game mode which a lot of people have been hyped for and waiting for it for a very very long time so there's no specialist there's no uh equipment no specialist equipment at all there's no gear or there's no operator mod so let's check out this game mode and let's give it a shot Alrighty, guys so this is the brand new airbones playlist right now which is actually really really interesting so there's no specialist involved within this game mode right here and i just wanted to play a little bit for you guys oh my god but let's see man so you can still heal like there's you know self-healing and whatnot but there's no specialist, there's no gear, so there's no stim shot. This is gonna be very, very bad. Okay, I'm so dead here. Okay, I'm gonna back up. Let's pop up this UAV right here. We're playing some domination on firing range. Yeah, there's two people actually coming this way. Killed one. This guy definitely knows I'm in here. We'll kill that dude. Oh my god. Okay, we're actually kind of going off right now, dudes. I'm gonna peek out real quick. Kill that one dude. No, he double punched me. I was 15 points off my streaks. All right, we're gonna kill you. No specialist, dude. Literally sign me up, dude. Sign me up. This guy really right here. Awesome. Yep, there's one, dude. Yep, there's two. They keep spawning on me. Yeah, they're literally just spawning. Holy crap. 
I'm gonna kill him. Got the sniper's nest. Thank God. They're literally all spawning on my- No! I got sniped! I was about to get the strike team, dog. Literally just chilling in the bathroom. Yeah, that was the dude who literally just sniped me. All right, there we go. Low-key killing it in this bare bones gameplay. There's probably some people right here. There's one guy. Yup, there's one dude. Definitely some more guys right back here. This guy's using a knife. I'm a backup. I'm a backup. So guys, that's halftime right there. 36 and four though, halftime. <laughs> yup, let's go. I'm stuck. Got the sniper's nest. Let's go. We're on a merciless. Please, let's get this. Let's get this strike team now. Yo, bare bones is actually so lit, man. Wow. 54 and 8. Chilling. Let's go. Got the strike team. We're going off right now. No, that guy had a damn knife. <laughs> so, guys, my strike team's going in, and that's the game. 63 and 9. Bare bones playlist right there. Drop a like if you guys are gonna play the bare bones playlist. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. But overall, that is the 1.16 update. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new, and I will see you guys next time. GKS, that's gonna be a reroll, and we get vacation Hudson. Are you serious, dude? That's like probably the coolest thing I've received so far, and it's a character. Wow. All right, uh, street race for the paladin, and what? Jane Doe, playable blackout character. Reroll. Oh, that is something new. All right, all right. So we got the signature weapon for the Cap 45. This will grant more XP because it is a Mark II variant, right? I'm pretty sure it's a Mark II variant, but it changes the look at the Cap 40. Okay, we got to see what this looks like right now. Let's go into multiplayer real fast. So this is what the base Cap 45 looks like, and then the Mark II makes it just look so, so much better. This is really, really dope. Okay, cool. This is actually something good that I've received in the reserves. Finally, I mean, it took a while, but we finally got something pretty decent. So this will grant plus 25 extra XP per kill. Street race for the ICR, dude. I gotta check out this camo because I literally just keep getting it. Oh, Kuro Maku. Is that, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but finally the Mastercraft for the KN57. Let's check out this variant, the new Mastercraft variant. So, oh, this is sick, bro. So it has like a like a fish on it. It has like some waves, some flowers, some cherry blossoms. So this is what it looks like at the start of the game. Like a bunch of like, it's just like a water sort of camo. And then at five kills, it adds the cherry blossom sort of flowers. And then, ooh, at 10 kills, there's moving flowers. This has got to be one of the best looking Mastercrafts in the game. I actually got to be so hyped to see something other than the street race and the splatter camo. That that just made me super hyped. So what are the things that I need? I think I need, I definitely need the outlaw variant. Oh, wait. Okay. The SWAT RFT MK2 variant. Okay, this is really, really dope too. So I have the signature weapon. I have the Mark II version of the Damon. I have the Mark II version of the Cat 45. And now I have the Mark II version of the SWAT. So this is what the base SWAT looks like. And then the Mark II. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a glow up right here. Oh, this is definitely a glow up. Holy Lord. What the heck? Yo, I just got Vacation Hudson twice. Did y'all see that? That's like my third time getting Vacation. Yo, dude, I hate duplicates so much. Dude, Vacation Hudson again. Oh, I finally got it, man. Thank the Lord. The High Noon Mastercraft version for the Outlaw. This was one of the new Mastercrafts that they added alongside the KN57 Mastercraft that we got a little bit ago. But this is for the Outlaw Sniper. So let's check this one out, dude, because I have not yet seen what it looks like at all. And I really got to see it because, uh, you know, this took a while to get. So it better be cool. Let's check out the Mastercraft, though. It's called High Noon. And, oh, okay, so it looks like a, um, like a revolver, like a sheriff sort of thing, you know what I mean? Kind of reminds me of, like, I don't know, like, Rick Grimes from, like, The Walking Dead. I don't know if the outlaw is that good of a sniper, though. Did it receive a buff in the last update? I think it did. I think it did receive a buff in the last update, so that's good that they added a, uh, Mastercraft for it. So, overall, guys, my, my opinions about reserves, I think they're a really cool concept, but they need to condense the items that you get in it. They need to condense the camos, so if you get one camo for, like, a pistol, you get it for all the pistols, or if you get the street race camo for, you know, the Kashka, you get the street race for all of the snipers like individual camos are just so bad they're cluttering the reserves it's really annoying just to see the, ca the same camo pop up over and over again that's that's super annoying